we always want to promote uh, total engagement with programs when we have participants so that everyone feels that the training is speaking to them. And then the second part of that is that we have constant follow-up. So it's not necessarily the one day that the company and the participants have invested in that there is constant follow-up. There's pre and post work production that comes into play as well. So an example I can share with you is um, an inquiry that we got from a good client of ours, Lloyd's TSB. They're a British based bank uh, and they have an office in Asia and they were looking to promote the culture of the company. So they have a set of values that they use in the UK. And what they'd find was a lot of financial institutions, they all basically provide the same service, but some do it much better than others. And when they got down to it, they found that that was because their employees were aligned with the values and actually lived the values of that organization. And this is something they were looking to replicate in Asia. So we have been approached to design a team building program for them that could take the culture and the values that works well in the UK and put it into an Asian context, which came back to the challenge then of um, total engagement. We didn't want the participants to think that because this works in the UK, it's necessarily going to slot into Asia. So we had to tweak it a little bit that it wasn't necessarily coming from head office, but the approach to engage the participants was that it was driven very much by their culture and what their beliefs and their thought systems were and how that culture fits into what the organization is calling for. And in that way, we had a better alignment so that people could start to live the values on, on a day-to-day -day basis. The way that we achieved that was to take the five values that Lloyd's TSB had, for example, something like integrity, and create a set of statements that could be debated. Uh, there was no right or wrong answer. It was basically getting the person's self-perception of what integrity is. Uh, for example, a statement like, can integrity be learned? Uh, you could maybe say, well, I. I 100% agree with that statement because you know integrity is something that uh, you can see in, in different organizations and in yourself you can learn to be a very honest person. Uh, if you debate with someone else their perception could be totally different. They could say well I 100% disagree with that because integrity is something you're born with, it's something you're brought up with and it's not necessarily something you learn on the job or could be forced uh, to have. You either have it or you don't. And that created a lot of discussion and brought out it to more of a team arena. So it's not just necessarily what my belief in integrity is, I can see what my other 80 colleagues at work believe in integrity as well. And that might change my perception in the context of the workplace. Uh, so we had lots of debate back and forward using these statements. And at the end of it, what we got the team to do was to consolidate them into sort of nine action points. It's what we call a diamond nine. So they took nine of the 15 statements. They had three at the top, three in the middle, three at the bottom. And that diamond shape really gave them something to work on in the next three, six, and nine months. Um, so instead of taking all the values and trying to live all five daily, they could work on three of them for the first three months, then work on some other for the next six months, and then finally the rest of them for the, for the six to nine months. So you've got a whole year of action from the one day invested in the training. And that brought us on to the whole idea of constant follow-up. It's not necessarily the one day that you're using. So working very closely with the HR team uh, as to how they could implement those values once people had agreed that integrity, what it means in the UK, can vary slightly, but essentially is the same value it's just put into an Asian context and, and the surrounding of doing business daily uh, as a British bank based in um, with offices in Asia uh, how they were using the values on a daily basis whether that was checking with their line managers uh, as, to, as to how they've used integrity or how they've used uh, passion for performance uh, and looking at it again in a month's time so we had a values championship uh, running for the whole year right up to the end of the year at appraisal time where they could look at how have you used these five values in your day-to-day -day work. And in a sense, it's challenging them to think about the values and challenging them to use them on a daily basis. So it aligns with the culture that they have, and obviously then makes them much stronger as a financial institution because people are more aligned to the values. And they're still allowed to have their own opinions and respect. It's how it fits into the, the context 
of the organization. And eventually, as they start using and living the values on a day-to-day -day basis, how it becomes natural and intuitive for them. So it's not something they simply have to step back, think, how would I use the values? It becomes more natural uh, to them throughout the entire year.